I want to bug you. I want my. I want this presentation to haunt you. I want when you go to the crib and you sit down and you're on the phone and you ain't doing nothing. I want it to haunt you. I want you to hear my voice and say your daily routine, build your dream until it irks you till you get up and start working on something for real on your life. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to wake you up at five o'clock in the morning. I wanted to shake you so when you get up, you say, man, I got to do something with my day. I can't just waste it. I want you to value your time to the point where you sit and watching a movie for 10 minutes. You think, what could I be doing right now with my life? Instead of watching somebody else make two or three million dollars and I'm watching them fulfill their vision and I ain't got one. That's what I want to do. I want you to, when you sit in the show and spend two or three hours watching a superhero movie, I want you to think, what did I do with this three hours? If I ask you guys to run to the wall and back, you're like, yeah, I got you, Mr. Steven. But 26.2 miles, can you run that? That's a marathon. No. I ain't why? I haven't prepared. I want you to think of college like that. Think of college as preparation for a marathon. And ask yourself, how much have I put into it? I was talking to a young man earlier today. I asked him what his GPA was. He started going to the Air Force. I said, great, wonderful. I said, had you took your ass back and said, I don't know I'll take it next week. I said, what you want to do? He said, I want to be an engineer. Wonderful. So I'm, I already know the game. My 1.5 GPA, lying self, used to tell people, I know how to play the game. If you ask me in my senior high school what you want to be, I'm going to be a CPA. Public accountant. I'm going to play the game, yeah. I wouldn't even go to class. Accounting class, I was skipping. But yeah, I'm going to be a CPA. So I know how to play the game. So I'm playing, I'm playing with you. What you want to do, engineer? Great, I'm playing it with you. What's your GPA? Oh, about 2.0. Really? So what you gonna do if you don't make it to the Air Force because you ain't? I ain't saying that, but you ain't. I'm being real, you ain't. 2.0, you ain't gonna make it into the Air Force Engineering Department with a 2.0 GPA, it ain't gonna happen. What happened if you don't? I'm gonna go to college. You ain't. With a 2.0, you ain't gonna make it. No, I'm not hating, I'm real. Some of y'all need to, no, listen to me. Why y'all talking? I'm giving out the information, right? I know this. The key is the rigor. The rigor, meaning the endurance, right? Do I have the academic endurance to study, to read, to discipline myself? That is what's going to get me to the next level. That's what's going to help me when I go to this next level after I go to camp, if I'm going to college. Got to have the rigor. Got to have the GPA. If I do not, I'm not ready. I'm not raining on your parade saying you can't go to college. I'm saying start a community college. Start to develop what you should have got before. It ain't over. It ain't over. You just have to know where you at. Assess where you at. Know your weaknesses. Know your strengths. Right? If I know my, my, my reading level ain't up there, my writing level ain't up there, that's, that's fine. Listen, all I, I, got, I, I know that, so now I can work on that. Let me go to community college and develop a study habit. Know when I'm in there, I'm here to develop a study habit. So when I go to that university, I'm straight. Because I want to be an engineer. I ain't saying you can't be one. I'm saying don't dive into a university with a 2 point something GPA from a high school. Y'all see the difference? It's about preparation, understand, it's all about preparation. You can prepare to do anything. Everybody in here can run a 26.2 marathon if you prepare, right? Everybody in here can be an A student if you prepare. It's, it's, it's all about preparation, but what happens is we waste time and we're not prepared. So what I'm saying is you've got to not discount the importance and the value, the value of preparing, the value of getting something. When you think about any athlete, any professional on any level, I guarantee you, you can trace it back to something they did on a continual basis. In other words, they were preparing. Kobe Bryant, Steph Curry. Any athletes you read about, you know about Kobe, shooting hoops, Steph, high school, all these guys. I got stories after stories. So Bill Gates started program computers in seventh grade. These people didn't just happen to do this. You understand what I'm saying? You have to prepare. So if you value preparation, if you don't, I want you to now. Right? Because here's my second point. What you do daily, your daily routine builds your dreams. Your daily routine. Your daily routine tells you your future. I just gotta make a plan. Your daily routine tells you your future. You wanna know where you're going in the next 10 years, where you're gonna be in the next five years, what you do today and what you do last week? Nothing. All right, there we go. That's where we at. Now listen, listen, that's where we at. Is that where we going? Until I change my routine, 
What's going to change? What, well, how, how can it change? What's just going to happen? And here it is. Nothing just happens. That's the real. I have to prepare for what I want. I have to prepare for where I'm going. So if I, if, if I want to go to college, let me get a study habit. If I want to be an inter, in, uh, entrepreneur, let me get a skill set that's deployable or a product that is, that is sellable and let me start grinding now. Let me start developing a market strategy now. Let me start reaching people now. Let me start doing what I say I'm going to do. Why am I, what am I waiting on? There is no tomorrow when it comes to your dreams. It's what you do every day that makes it a reality. They already made this. When you watching the game on Sunday, them folks making 20, 30 million dollars, and you ain't got a skill, and you ain't got a vision, and you watching the game, you ain't got time to watch the game. You gotta get a vision for your own life. I ain't hating on nobody's vision, but they got their money. We yours. Right? You you got a vision. You and you are as important as that person. Invest in you. Invest in who? You. There you go. Y'all feeling me? You got the value. You got the listen, guys. You got the value. I'm for real. Other class is. Years ago, my wife was in California. She she's a hairstylist, had a business. She started making a decent amount of money. She was thinking that that first year, first year she made about like, like sixty five, seventy thousand dollars. Went found out. Government say we owe we owe you y'all you owe us with all the state, federal, social security tax. You are seven grand. Listen to me. Listen to me. So, I say seven grand. We can't, we can't, we can't continue this, right? So, got to be a, got to be a better way. So, I, I, I research, find out, find a, a tax attorney. I want you, I want you to, I'm going to change your element of thinking. I didn't find a, a homeboy down the street. I found a tax attorney. $300 an hour. Wouldn't talk to him. Talked to his office. He advised us of the way we structured our business was wrong. He said, you are so proprietor. It's the highest bracket that's audited and the less tax deductions. It is the worst way to start any business. You need to establish at least a C Corp or LLC or S Corp. So we're like, okay. So we paid him about $1,500, two grand to start us a C Corp. He did our taxes. Taxis have, we, we, we started giving them our taxes. You started, and we started seeing our deductions, our taxable income, which is what was getting us before, wasn't getting us again. Because people pay you for what? what you so I couldn't go to anybody with that, because ain't had anybody ain't had knowledge. The one who had the knowledge is the one I had to pay. Because he had the knowledge, when we started grossing five hundred thousand a year, and on paper we great we netted forty, so basically we, we I'm living a seven hundred thousand dollar house on the golf course, but I qualify for low income uh, medical care in California. And it hit me. I said that's how they do it. I ain't know that. I had to pay somebody who what did. What am I saying? Get you some what knowledge so somebody can pay you to ask you questions. Factory and plant. All of them came out the same. All of them. What am I saying? A process always has a promise. If you go through it, you will look like you're supposed to look. In other words, go through the work. Go through the work to get what you want. That's guaranteed. All this shortcut, gonna find a way, don't, don't cut it. Ain't no shortcuts. Work. Stop being scared to do what you were designed to do. Stop being scared to work. Stop being scared of, the, of here it is, of struggle and stop being scared of feeling like you don't know. If you feel like you don't know and it's too hard and it's too difficult, you are in the right spot. Cause that means you're growing. If it's too easy, you're in the wrong spot. But let it be a struggle. I need to feel uneasy. I didn't need to be difficult. It need to be tough. Why? Cause when it's tough, guess what? I'm growing. Every athlete in here know when those muscles are ripping it's because you feel that burn. You want to, if, you ain't, if it ain't burning, you ain't worked out. You know that. I want you to apply that to your mind. I want you to apply that to your mind. Somebody say, I worked out for 20 minutes. You're like, you ain't work out. The muscles ain't burn. You need to feel that burn. Why? Because then you're growing. I want, your, I want you to feel uneasy. I want you to feel awkward. I want you to struggle. And struggle through it. It's hard. It's supposed to be hard because I'm growing. I'm learning. Nothing grows staying the same. Live uncomfortable. 
for the next six years of your life and you're going to be straight. When I say straight, I mean you're going to have the money, you're going to have the family, you're going to have what you want because you worked. You go in this puppy and throwing up that cap trying to be easy, listen, leave it alone. It ain't no easy way. Stop going into stuff because it ain't going to be that much work. It need to be tough. I mean, I'm getting something out of it. Who wants easy stuff? Nobody. You don't even go buy and shop for shoes like that. That's because you buy them bobos at the supermarket if you wanted stuff easy, right? But I want the new J's. Why? Because J's cost. Bobos ain't but $5. Nobody want $5 shoes. Why? Because it ain't cost nothing. Think about your life like that. Invest in you. Feel the struggle. Feel the pain. Feel the uneasiness. That's the space you want to be in. Need to feel uneasy and, and, and needing to grow. That's the process. It's Quiet down, guys, please. It's something I'm finna get at, which is like, um, people pay for it, you know. Yes. Your right. I'm sorry? People can rap and be dumb as a brick. Right. Right. I'm sorry, what you trying to say? People, so you saying they don't know nothing? I mean, no, 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 listen to me, listen to me, listen. They do know something. Didn't you say they rapping? 21. Okay, okay. So, so that, listen to me. That's a skill. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. That's a skill. You, so what I'm saying is you got to know something. That's a highly competitive industry. High risk, meaning everybody ain't going to do that. That ain't everybody's story. I can tell you about folks who won the lottery, but it's, it's 20 million to one. But they win them all the time. Do I want to set on that course or do I want to set on one that's solid? Not to kill dreams, that's you. I ain't hating on your dream. Go for it. I'm with it. But if you're talking about maybe I want to rap and that, listen, you got to go for what you know that's there. I can talk about it. You know, I know folks who, they, great grandfather died left him 1.5 million. Mine died, I ain't getting nothing. So we can talk about all kinds of stuff, right? But the bottom line, and they got paid. They ain't know nothing. But you can't live off that. I'm talking about principles. Listen, that's principles work. Because somebody else did it don't mean that's going to be you. You basing your life off something what somebody else did, you in trouble. So listen to me. You be, listen, hear my heart. Do not base your future off of what somebody else went through and got by chance. Three mindsets. Chance, convenience, and conviction. Some folk live by chance. It might happen, it's possible, it's gonna happen. Listen, that's, if you're living by chance, you, gonna, you, you are just as chance, there's no guarantee. You live by conviction, people who live by conviction understand they cultivate their lives to the point that they pull out what's inside of them. But the people who live by convenience are the people who want it easy. And they always broke, because convenience always costs you more. Go to 7-Eleven and go shopping cost you more at a convenience store than it do at a grocery store, don't it? Yeah, because it's convenient. So whatever's convenient today will cost you later. And we can go into all kinds of sections with that, but that's the real. If it's too easy and convenient today, guarantee it's going to cost you more later. And that's real. Which, that's real talk. Let it be easy today. Talk to me about two or three more years. See how much that thing really costs you. Because it was easy, uh-huh. How much did it cost you? I ain't, it ain't gotta be money. 